Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so one of the most beautiful to see, thing to see is sister on sister love, right? And we know we have sisters, the blood ones, we have sisters, the ones who travel together who are not related, but a lot of us are in families that we can't even travel together. So it's really beautiful when we see these you're so pretty. Look at the, like, look at the sisters. Right? I'm like, oh my God, gorgeous one and gorgeous two, <laughs> traveling together and having so much fun. They can't hide that. Please put your hands together for Donna and Denise Crowder. I think the first thing I wanted to do was just acknowledge all of the veterans. Happy Veterans Day. Right. Yeah. Memorial Day. Right. Happy Memorial Day. Yeah. Okay, right now, all right. So I guess for me, my journey actually started as a graduate student. I actually have a degree in education. I wanted to actually be a historian. I'm like, okay, I wanna do African American studies, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually it was African studies. And at the time, I don't think I was quite ready for what I was reading. Cause it was so emotional for me. I was like, I need to take time off from school. I just, I just totally, yeah. Okay. And so now we're here, 30 plus years later, oh, and I'm just ready for a change. And so my sister and I actually have been looking to make a change out of the U.S. because of all of the inequities and the, you know, just the abuse of our, you know, our, our families, our brothers, our culture, just everything. And so we had, we were looking at Dubai initially. <laughs> And I was like, no, nah, it's too hot, it's too expensive, and if I work there, America's gonna tax me anyway. They won't get their money. <laughs> and so I actually found Bamani. Uh, I was just on the internet, and I saw his advertising. I was like, Denise, I think I found a group we can go with, and that's how we ended up on this, on this, you know, this trip. And for me, I'm. I feel like I've been on this trip now for more than, what, four or five four days. days. Yeah. But I'm just, you know, I'm so excited and I just can't wait to see what we're doing every every single day. But one of the things that we do uh, ultimately want to do is is relocate. And, uh, you know, Ghana for me is the place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, excellent. All right. Okay. Woo! Thank you, sister. <laughs> well, my journey um, started when I was in college. One of the things, one of the studies we had, I attended Winston-Salem State University in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. H hey, hey, hey. You. That's right. It's historically back college universities. Okay, exactly. Um, in my in one of my uh, in our Black Studies course, I had to do a paper on the Middle Passage. And when I did that paper, it, it profoundly impacted me. Um, that was right before Roots, and then I had to do the paper. So it took me from just hearing what Alex Haley did to, wow, uh, this was deep. You know, exactly, you know, that, that whole transition. So some years went by, and I told Donna, and I told my mom, my family, I was like, I want to go to Africa. My mom was like, no, not yet. I was like, okay. Yeah, I was like, what I say? Come to, come to California and stay with me. Yeah, she did. She did. Don't go. Don't go. So then I said, okay, no problem. And, I, and what I also understand, just like Sam says, it was not the time. It was not in order. So then Don and I said, okay, latter part of 2017, we're going to go. Um, I'm, I'm definitely ready to go. I'm definitely ready to make a change. I, I have seen a lot of stuff that's happened in the United States that, you know, we just, just isn't quite working for me right now. But I do know I have these talents where I could take and do something else. I can tell you, I want to get off of course for just one second. When we went to the Trinity House and I spent some time with a, a baby there, her name is Sarah. And Sarah said, she said to me, she said, will you give me something so that I can remember you? And I said, okay, no problem. So I took my necklace off, I gave her my necklace. And we were walking out and she said, she said, miss, I said, yeah. She said, I hope that you get everything you want 
and I hope that God blesses you yes. with yes. much prosperity. Wow. You guys are uh, almost cried. I had to hold every tear I had. And I said, you know what? If there was nothing else that came out of this trip except the fact that that child blessed me, then this whole trip was worth it. Yes. That was it. That was it. That was it. Yeah. I could have given her my whole paycheck at that point. But that was pretty much it, you guys. So, but yeah, thank you. So that actually put the icing on the cake for me. I said, I'm supposed to be here. Yeah. Tell me how we met. <laughs> Sass and I met uh, maybe about a year and a half ago. Um, being in property management, we uh, I, we manage a lot of properties in the you know in several states. And one of the properties that where Sass where Sass is home is we actually manage the property. And um, Sass came up to me and she said we were having a board meeting. It was Joel's board meeting. And Sass walked up to me and she said, hey, she was like, you know, um, I do calligraphy and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, she was really kind and we laughed, we hugged and everything. And she, I was, and she said, I just want to introduce myself to you. And I said, okay, well, it was, it was nice meeting you and everything. We hadn't seen each other since then. And then I saw on Bomani's uh, website, uh, I saw Sass, I said, Sass, I know this lady, I know her. And I said, I don't know where I know her. Then we did the networking in Atlanta at the Soul Vegetarian oh, yeah. Restaurant. And I'm sitting there and I'm looking at Sass and I'm saying, I know her, I know her, I know her. And Sass, right, you walked up to me and we said, we know each other. Well then, we hugged each other and then I sat there and I said, oh, I know where it was. It was at, we met at the, at the uh, Atlanta Town Hall. So it was really good seeing you again, Sass. And that, and then, again, that's another pause. I said, okay, I know I'm supposed to go. Yeah. Absolutely. It was, mm -hmm. it was a sign. So that was pretty much it. All right, thank you. Any questions? Do we have any questions? Do we have any questions for these beautiful sisters? Yes, uh, Rakim. Uh, hold on, Rakim had one first. Rakim. You always trying to come, I mean, to tell other family members and they try to discourage you. You know what? Um, no, my youngest sister, she was, she's super excited about the fact that we're here on this journey. And, you know, at some point, I'm going to try and convince her to, like, you know, take the trip, at least with her kids, and just see what we see and what we know. Because we've been, like, literally doing research for the last six months. Like, I spend my weekends on the internet, like, looking at Bomani, and he's, like, my hero, you know. <laughs> yeah, like, seriously. So, I'm... I'm was so glad to meet him in person and be on this trip to meet all you wonderful people. Yeah, absolutely. And I couldn't ask for a better bunch of people to travel. Yes. Absolutely, okay. absolutely. Awesome. Absolutely. Thank you. Sassy, you had a question? Uh, yes. Uh, knowing that you're in property management mm -hmm. uh, and you, that's your business, mm -hmm. do you have a particular interest or vision or any revelations around what you can do and offer? Uh -huh. well, that was another thing. Don and I were trying to figure out what would we do. And one of the things that um, came up was when Bomani, the gentleman from the president's office, Tim, I can't remember his last name, but he was there. And I was just talking to him and I was kind of telling him, I was saying, hey, you know, I would, I'm in property management and I've been self-employed before and I have years of experience in development in property management. And Tim looked at me and he said, well, he'll take my car. And he said, give me a call. And I told him, okay, I absolutely will. So as soon as I get a chance to um, make the call to him, I'll give him a call, yeah. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, so yeah. So, but I do need to see what is it that was needed, and then I can offer up any services or any consulting or whatever's needed at that point. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah, thank you.